Hi, my name is Mani Alikani. I am Dean and Professor at CITOR Academy, and I'd like to welcome you to another session of CITOR Channel. The topic of today's discussion is a step band. If you remember from previous sessions, we talk about different type of bands that we can place in wire. In general, any band that we insert in rigid wire or the bracket induced in flexible wire are either V-band, a step band, or combination of V-band and a step band. So you can analyze every band inside the wire by dividing them to V-band and step bands. We talk about the V-bands for many sessions. We analyze them as a one-couple system and two-couple system. How about the step bands? To understand the biomechanic principles of step bands, let's start with a very simple example. Assume we have two brackets on two adjacent teeth. They are in the same height, and from any aspect, they are similar, size, width, and everything. Now, what happens if we put in a section of for example, rectangular wire with a step band between these two brackets. Let's start with engaging the wire in the premolar, but not engaging on the canine. If I bring the wire down to connect it to the canine only through one contact point, whether by putting a ligature tie or putting a drop of composite, I don't engage it in the canine bracket. What system I have? Yes, we have a one couple system. In one side, we have two contact points because the wire was inserted inside the bracket. In the other side, we have one contact point because the wire was not inserted inside the bracket. Can you imagine what forces and moment appear in the system? Yes, it would be similar to any V band. You have a one couple system that if you bring the wire down to the canine, will cause intrusion on the canine extrusion on the premolar and what type of moment appears on the premolar a clockwise moment for the system to be in balance there should be another moment in opposite direction and with the equal magnitude where is that moment yes if you look at the red arrows the red forces that are in system intrusion and extrusion forces that are in the system they by themselves producing another couple and the result of this couple is the moment that is equal and opposite in direction in compared with the purple arrow. If you forgot your one couple system, please go to the session of the one couple system and refresh your memories. You can see all the calculation there. Now, what happened in instead of engaging the wire in the premolar first, I engage the wire in the canine. Now, if I bring the wire up on the premolar and connect the wire to the bracket just again with one contact point, whether I'm putting a ligature tie, composite, anything, only one contact point. The system become similar to the previous example, a one couple system. Can you guess what forces and moment appear in your system? Yes, there would be extrusion force on the premolar, intrusion force on the canine, and a clockwise moment appear in your system on the canine. Why? Because that's the only place that the two contact point exists in your system. And that produce a moment. Again, the system is in balance. The moment that produced by the two red arrow, because they act as a couple, is equal and opposite in direction with the purple arrow. Now, what happens if I engage the wire from both sides inside the bracket? Can you imagine what the system will be? Of course, because now in both sides we have two contact points, the system consider a two-couple system. To see what forces and moments appear in the system, we just need to add the two one-couple system that we already talked about together. Let's do that. As you can see, the magnitude of the intrusion and extrusion that appear in the system are much higher than what we see with the V-band. This is one of the good characteristics of a step band that has a lot of clinical application. Also, if you 
pay attention, both moments that appears on the premolar and canine are equal in magnitude and are in the same direction. In this example, both of them are clockwise. That also has a lot of clinical application. Now, a step band similar to V-band has a lot of properties that we are going to discuss in the next couple of sessions. But let's start to talk about only one variable. What happens if the bracket on the canine and the premolars are not in the same height? What happens one of the bracket, uh, for example, the canine, is closer or farther from the step band? In another word, the height of the premolar and canine brackets are not the same. Can you guess what's going to happen? Do you think the direction of your forces and moment are going to change? Or the magnitude of the forces and moment is going to change? Yes, you are right. There is no reason for the direction of the forces or moment to change, but the magnitude of the forces and moment depends on if you are closer to the wire or farther away from the wire will decrease or increase. I hope you enjoyed another session of CITOR channel. Please, if you have not subscribed to our channel, go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to press the like button. Thank you so much.